Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create or generate multiple reports on a pivot table. Let's say for example we have a pivot table here. These are salespeople's data. Let me go ahead and move the name down here to make it a little bit easier to explain. So let's say for example we're in a sales meeting. We've got our salespeople here, Bill, Raja, Sally. They're selling these four items for a company on a period from quarter one to quarter four in the grand total. And let's say, for example, we are covering this in the meeting and we want to give each of these individual salespeople their own view of the table instead of having this whole big table for each of them to view. Now we can do that initially and then put it into a printout and hand it to these person. So to do that, maybe what we want to do is we want to bring the name up here to the report filter. So we have the total here for everybody. But let's say, for example, we have a bill here. We'll select that. And then we can have bills here, and what we can do is we can cop make a copy of this, or we can just like print this one out and then give it to Bill and then change it over to Raja and then print that one out and give it to him and then change it over to Sally and give it to her. Or what we can do is maybe we can have well, when we have Sally's here, we can have one for Sally for here, and then we can press control and move this particular sheet out here. It'll make a copy of it and turn this one into Raja and then turn do the same thing here control press control and right left mouse click and bring this up here and now we're going to make this uh, bill and then click OK and so maybe each one is going to be different one so this one can be Sally this one can be Raja this one can be Bill we can print it all out now that's a lot of work let's say for example we just have three salespeople here but let's say we had 10 people 20 people that would be a lot to do multiple times. There's an easier way to do this. I'm going to go ahead and delete these two pivots here. I'm going to press shift and then select this pivot, right click and go ahead and press select the delete and delete those. So what we can do here is we can actually generate multiple multiple reports in one click, almost one click. What I need to do is unselect that, select all here, click OK. And I'm in the pivot table here. All I need to do is go under options go under the options here under the pivot table group and click this option where it says show report filter pages. Once I click on that, what it's going to do is it's going to show all report filters on uh, name. So if I click OK, you'll notice now it's generated it. So it's generated one for Bill, generated one for Raja, generated one for Sally. And basically it's the same thing as I did previously, but and it's also filtered it, but it's also put in the name for each tab and it's done it dynamically, uh, automatically. So if we had 10 people, 20 people, this could be done really quickly and you can print this out for everybody. So if I can just go ahead and do press control P and then go ahead and select entire workbook, I can print this thing out in one particular setting. So I can go ahead and select on the different, this is the uh, data page. So if I go onto uh, uh, the pivot table worksheets, you can see there's one for Bill, one for Raja, and then another one for Sally. Again, if this was 10 people, 20 people, this could be done really quickly and easily. So this is how you can generate multiple reports on one pivot table in just almost one click. You basically, we've got multiple names here, and we just all need to do is go under options, go under the options here on the pivot table, and click on the show report filter pages. It's going to base it on the report filter right here. So that's a real shortcut way to create multiple pages out of a pivot table. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.